Okay, I'm in my um, kitchen right now on this small table. I was thinking about the decoupaging this um, empty glass jar from um, Bath and Body Works. And I'm just cutting out using this Creative Memories um, Fall Leaves Punch. And I'm just cutting out four layers or punching out four layers of the tissue paper which is like orange, light orange and um, red and then I'm just punching them as you can see it's very thin so you need to just separate them from each other and then we are going to decoupage that to our candle jar and we'll see how it will turn out so I know for some it's probably better if you have bigger leaves or bigger punches but I don't have any that's why I ended up with this but I have a lot of patience when it comes to crafting so that's why they're small but it will be better if you have bigger punches now we're in my um, dining room and this is where I normally film because of the lighting so I just covered my board here with um, wax paper and I have washi tape holding it just so it doesn't get all messy and I have my mom bodge here this is Matt I have my empty glass candle jar from Bath and Body Works that I'm recycling and turning into a beautiful tea light holder and I have my brush so the idea is for us to decoupage these tiny little leaves and uh, alternate the colors and we'll see how it will turn out okay I just put enough Mod Podge in there I'm just um, covering just a little bit don't put too much you just need to put enough um, Mod Podge to your candle jar like so there's no rhyme or reason to this just you know keep doing it and keep putting your leaves and we can fill it up later once once we know you know how much leaves you want to put in there and I'm just randomly putting the leaves and we'll see how it goes later after some time so just putting it on there we will pl probably layer this more later so that's just the way I Mod Podge my candle holders or um, I don't like it too much because the idea is for you to still see the flame but because we're using tissue paper and this is really nice and um, it's going to be kind of translucent by the time you're it will have it will give you a frosted finish That's so we're just going to continue doing this and I will show you the finished product right after well, I think I'm happy with um, the first the first coating of this and I'm just going to let it dry the idea is to not touch the tissue paper so it doesn't you know break and um, once you're satisfied with the way it looks, you just need to leave it alone and let it dry. And then if you want to add more leaves later, you can do so. And then once that's done, we can just put a coat of Mod Podge again to seal it. Or if you have a sealer, you can do that as well. But um, that's how it turned out. Isn't that cute? Hey guys. All right, I just put a second coat of um, Mod Podge on my candle holders just to seal the the tissue paper and as you can see I didn't really use a lot of tissue paper so that's how it looks like hey everyone okay I'm back and the candle holders are done I put a coat of uh, Mod Podge on it again um, this morning and it's dried now it's already almost five o'clock in the afternoon where I am and so it's gonna get dark soon it gets dark earlier now that's why I wanted to, sh to film this and show you guys how it looks like when I actually put the tea lights in so 
These are the decoupage candle holders that I showed you earlier and it turned out better than I expected. I thought, what do you guys think? Let me focus here and just... Doesn't it look pretty? I think it looks pretty with the candle and um, the camera is not really doing any justice because it's just amazing on how it looks like. The decoupage, the Mod Bodge actually made it look a little frosty. See, like the jar is a bit frosty, it's not clear. So it gives it that wonderful effect as well. So, just focusing on one of here, one of the candle holders here. And it's just pretty. It's so pretty. And I love decorating for fall and if you are already subscribed to me then you saw my fall decorating um, ideas for 2013 and uh, my nephew is coming for Thanksgiving and so I'm prepping the house and it's just really nice in the evening to have candles and have a glass of wine and unwind and just enjoy being home. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, I hope you decoupage some candle holders or glass jars as well. Some empty glass jars from your kitchen and um, I would love to see it if you made any and uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and if you're not subscribed to me please subscribe and I will have more projects coming up so please stay tuned and I'll see you on my next project so goodbye for now.